Hey guys, how's it going? Today's audio is short but deep and packed with valuable information. It's best if you listen to it with earphones or headphones to get the most out of it. As you may already know about my TikTok, please check it out. The link is in the description box. Wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. When you are depressed, you are very far from your alignment of appreciation and love. But there are lots of emotions along the way to sort of give you an indicator of what your mix of vibration is. And that mix is something that you and only you have control over because you're the only one who can focus. You're the only one that can think your thoughts. And so you're wanting to guide your thoughts more and more into resonance with that powerful source energy thinking. So when you realize that you have choices along the way of whether you feel depressed or whether you feel anger or whether you feel revenge or whether you feel appreciation or whether you feel love or whether you feel hope or whether you feel aggravation or whether you feel defensiveness or whether you feel fear or whether you feel depressed or whether you feel love. But you can't jump all the way from what feels terrible to what feels good, nor will you jump all the way from what feels good to what feels terrible. It's more incremental movement along the way. But if you will just introduce into your consciousness the idea of what satisfaction feels like and acknowledge that if you're depressed, then it is more satisfying to feel revenge. And if you are feeling revenge, it is more satisfying to feel frustration. If you're feeling frustration, it is more satisfying to feel hope. And just sort of for a little while, forget about all of these emotions because there are so many and many more that we didn't even name in our scale. And just know that the mix of you, the way you feel, is the mix of your relationship with your inner being. And just do your best from wherever you are to find the most satisfying way of looking at whatever is crossing your path or whatever's on your mind. And what you'll begin to notice is it just becomes more and more and more and more satisfying. So, we've been talking to you all for a while about you are the creator of your own reality. And some of you like that idea, some of you, it frightens. You try to suck your words back before law of attraction gets them and makes bad things happen. And then we began defining it as the art of allowing. Now we're calling this the art of allowing or receiving, the art of allowing or receiving your true connection with who you really are. And for a while we were telling you that you've created this vibrational reality, we call it a vortex, and we explained to you that everything that you want is there, and the cooperative components have all been gathered, and the only question is, are you a cooperative component? Because when you are, then you're in the vortex, and then these things are occurring to you. And today we're saying to you that this vortex exists, and when you approach its vibrational consistency, when you approach the vibration that your vortex is, then you are really in the receiving mode and you start getting all kinds of thoughts and ideas and impulses that feel good while they're happening and pay off because they feel good, but really pay off in the manifestation that you're looking for. So as we talk about this thoughts turning to things, this is what we want you to hear from this conversation. Thoughts are turning to things, vibrations are turning to thoughts and you are receiving the thoughts and as you are receiving the thoughts and the impulses, all of that turns to things. You sort of getting the sense of this because it is a vibrational universe that we all live in and you are turning these vibrations into the reality that you are perceiving or that you are realizing or that you are witnessing. So when you get that clear in your mind that you are the realizer or the receiver of this, then it all becomes much, much, much easier to you. And the reason that we're wanting to emphasize this to you is because as you are in that receiving mode, in time you are going to recognize that it really never gets done. Because at the same time that you are often in the receiving mode, you are also sometimes in the step one asking mode. So you're all day asking for more and amending the desires. In other words, making your desires clearer and more specific to your tastes. So your desires are continuing to expand. The question is, are you expanding with them? So the reason that we're talking to you in this way is because we want you to get really good at knowing that you never get it done and being satisfied with that understanding. You never get it done. 
Therefore, the fact that this isn't done yet must not be of concern for you. Because if the fact that this isn't done, this thing that you want right here, right now, this business hasn't come into place and you haven't found the right people, if that is of concern to you, that this isn't done, then your facing of reality is keeping you from being in the receptive mode. Sometimes when we talk to you, you misunderstand and you think that what we're saying to you is just be happy with what you've got. That's not what we're saying. We're saying be happy with what's becoming, but know that it is becoming and let it become naturally. Enjoy the becoming of it because you're never going to be in a place where you can say there, all the things that are in my vortex have now become and now I'm happy. And we'd say, no, now you're really dead. <laughs> and that can't be. The only dead there is, is the dead that you live in your physical body where you pinch yourself off from the wholeness that you really are. So did you really hear that? You're not ever gonna get it done and that's okay. It's gotta be okay because you're not ever gonna get it done and that's gotta be okay because you're not ever gonna get it done and that's gotta be okay because you're not ever gonna get it done. And that's gotta be okay because you're not ever gonna get it done. Has to be okay because you're not ever gonna get it done. You're not ever gonna get it done. <sighs> Doesn't that make you wanna say, oh, good. Good, I'm not ever gonna get it done, but there's gonna be a whole bunch of new things that I desire that are gonna keep my juices flowing and keep my mind sharp and keep people coming to me and keep those rendezvous coming and keep me feeling the exhilaration and keep me feeling my hands in the clay and keep watching the powers of the universe at my disposal and keep me feeling the fullness of who I am and keep me feeling the fun of who I am and me being in physical form, the creative genius that I was born to be, the source energy part of me flowing and blowing with me forward all the time. And people say, did you get that done? No, not ever gonna get it done. Oh, really? That sounds discouraging. No, it isn't really. Because the path to it is so much fun. What? You don't care if you ever get it done? Oh, I care and it will get done. It's just not done yet and it's fun anyway. Satisfied with what is, it's not done. Satisfied with what is and eager for what's coming next and next and next and next and next. So it's like these eggs are hatching and these eggs are still being laid. It's still coming, 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 coming down the pipeline. And you're having so much fun with all of it. Helpful? Thank you so much. Really good.